It's back to the future for one Lafayette woman. After living in Macon County nearly 40 years ago, then moving away, she's now decided she wants to call this area her current and possibly last home. Anita Metter works hard at her laptop. She recently moved back to Lafayette after being gone for almost four decades. I was born in um, Clinton, Iowa, and I grew up on a farm. My, I had two aunts that were teachers, and I, no, I had three actually, and I followed in their footsteps. So I always wanted to do that, and one of my aunts were, was a special ed education teacher, and so I wanted to do that too. So she had, I had visited her class and things, so it, it seemed like a, a good place for me to go. I started at Indiana University, and then I went to Anderson University. And at Anderson, I met Rita Crowder, who um, had his family here in Lafayette. And so when she graduated, she got a job in Macon County as a teacher, special education teacher, and uh, they needed another teacher. And so she said, she called me and said, are you interested? And so I had an interview with Annette Cothran and it was over the phone and I was hired then to come here. After teaching special education at both Central and Fairlane elementaries in Lafayette, Anita then moved back to Iowa to care for her ailing father. She also lived and worked in Nashville. After retiring from teaching, she moved to Colorado where her two sons live. Then her heart told her to move back to the area where she first taught school. I always wanted to come back because I loved being here. And I still have lots of friends here. I still have my uh, husband's family and we've always, you know, ha had a nice relationship and things. So there's nieces and nephews and, um, and so forth. And then um, I was trying to decide what I wanted to do with the rest of my life and where I wanted to be and where I was gonna be the happiest. And I decided that, well, actually I listened to Steve Harvey and he said to write down 300 things that you really want. And so I started on it. I got a list of 165, is my, because <laughs> it's hard to come up with 300 things. And so he said, you ask not because you, do, you don't get what you want because you don't ask. And so I was asking God for a path for my life, mm -hmm. what I wanted to do to the end of it, and a place where I was going to be happy. And, and so um, one of the things I put down was I wanted to move, I wanted to have a house in Lafayette, Tennessee. She started a new career after retiring from teaching. A couple years ago, after I made my list, I wanted to meet interesting people, I wanted to have a purpose. On Craigslist, there was an ad that said they, they were looking for someone to edit books for people in prison. And I said, well, I can do that. And so I contacted the person and she hired me to do that. And so it is a volunteer kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I have a number of books that, well, I've done about 25 books maybe for people in prison. And it's to help them so that when they get out, they have something for themselves to to start building a life with. And so that's been really, really interesting. You believe me, I meet interesting people. <laughs> and then, um, so then I, I edit their books and some I help um, add some interest to it, add more details and things. Um, I started out editing. Okay, then I thought, you know what? I can write too. <laughs> and so I started writing, I write, I'm writing books too. She currently has three children's books published. And I have a couple of different series. One, the first one is Susie Bear and Addie series. And I have about 12 of those written, all ready to be published. And then I have um, a tie and Jamal, and that's for more like a, a, a junior high okay. kids. And there are about two boys who are um, learning to live and grow and become men. Anita Metter says she plans on writing until she's not physically able. She hopes to have other writers visit her home as a retreat where they can exchange writing ideas and simply hang out. 
It's been 40 years in the making. Reporting from Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.